Another aircraft sporting a new colour scheme this year was the New Zealand Warbirds DC-3. Previously sporting World War II era camouflage, the new scheme represents aircraft NZ-3546, a DC-3 used by number 42 squadron RNZAF until its retirement in 1977. The original NZ-3546 was used to fly the New Zealand contingent to Japan in September 1945 to witness the Japanese surrender at the end of World War II. That aircraft is now based in South Africa and is still actively flying. Towards the end of her RNZAF career, NZ-3546 was used to transport Air Force personnel up and down New Zealand on a weekly basis. For the first time this year, we also had a second DC-3 at the show, ZK AMY from Christchurch. Owned by the Southern DC-3 Trust, AMY is the youngest DC-3 currently operating in the Southern Hemisphere, with only some 18,000 hours on her airframe. Built in 1944 as a C-47A Skytrain, the aircraft was delivered to the US Army Air Force in June of that year and began operations in the Pacific Theater shortly afterwards. Post-war, the aircraft was operated for more than 30 years by the Australian Department of Civil Aviation, initially in a survey role. For the next 16 years, the aircraft was operated by a number of different owners throughout Australia, mainly on charter work. In 1994, it was imported into New Zealand and operated for the next four years by Vincent Aviation. By 1988, the aircraft had ceased operations and was stored at Palmerston North. Christchurch's Pioneer Adventures purchased the aircraft for charter work in 2001 and by 2006 she'd been transferred to the Southern DC-3 Trust. The goal of the Trust is to preserve and maintain the aircraft as a fully working example for the enjoyment of future generations of New Zealanders. With literally hundreds of DC-3s still operating on a commercial basis worldwide and the ready availability of spare parts, it's expected that AMY will continue to be a part of the New Zealand aviation scene for many years to come.